Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Off the Ropes with John and Josh. I am John, and again, as always, this is my tag team partner, Josh. What up? Now, you notice things are a little bit backwards today. I'm hosting the episode because that's right, we're bringing Let Me Tell You Something Brother straight to you in special editions now, since it doesn't quite fit into you know, the normal things that we're doing anymore with how we restructured the show. And today, I've got a really special little thing I want to talk about, something that I know a lot of people don't get, and that's how the rules of wrestling could be applied to other sports and make sports better. Now, for those of you who don't really get it, I understand. Because, I mean, I watched a YouTube video the other day, and I shared it with Josh, and the guy, he, he simplifies it. But I really want to drag it out, and I want to I want to explore this a little bit. Because, Josh, are you a sports fan? I mean, not really. I will watch uh, football once in a while. See, and that's fair. And a lot of people, man, it's like people are like, oh, man, you have to watch this game. And I'm like, why? And they're like, oh, man, you don't understand. Like, LeBron's changing the game. And I'm like. How? By scoring a few more points than the previous basketball player who did really good? <laughs> like, it's just... Yeah. Okay, so let me explain it like this. Josh, you said you like football. Who's your favorite football team? <laughs> Unfortunately, the Bills. <laughs> okay. No, dude, no, no, no. We ain't picking on anybody tonight. That's not how this works. Okay? So imagine this. Who did the Bills play recently? It was Kansas City, right? Yeah, it was Kansas City. It was, okay. a, it was, it was a crazy game. I'll say that. Now, imagine it gets even crazier if the rules of professional wrestling applied to sports. They're in the middle of the third quarter. Josh Allen, he's right behind the center. He takes the snap, and all of a sudden, it's the Carolina Panthers! They're cashing in the briefcase! This is now a triple threat for the AFC positioning! Oh, my God! Cam Newton is literally just taking the field! Dude, I mean, I would watch football way more if that was a thing that could happen. <laughs> I mean, imagine you're watching a basketball game. Fucking dude rips off his jersey to reveal he's been playing for the other team the whole time. Takes the ball, dunks it on his old team, like on his own team. I mean, that would make sports so much more entertaining, <laughs> correct? I mean, I feel like the closest sport we got. To wrestling, it's like hockey because they'll beat the shit out of each other. I mean, yeah, yeah. There's a fight, but I mean, again, oh, it's, man. it's one team is going to win or the other, and people will be like, so, Steve, "Oh, I would watch hockey if it was like you go into the penalty box, you grab a, a steel chair, you come flying <laughs> back out on that ice ring, and you start smacking p- uh, bitches around." I'd be well, way more inclined to watch so some hockey. I was bringing this up at work the other day, and a guy says to me straight out, he goes. Well, you don't understand it. Wrestling's fake. And I went, oh, it's so fake. Why? And he goes, well, it's scripted. You know who's going to win. Well, I was, okay. Two sports teams are playing each other. You know who's going to win, too. It's either going to be Team A or Team B. You know who won the championship at WrestleMania 31? A dude who wasn't even in the match. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's if the rules of professional wrestling could be applied to other sports. Imagine, like, um, okay, this comes from Happy Madison, or uh, Happy Gilmore, but, so he holds the lead record for being the only guy to ever take off his skate and attack someone with it. Hardcore match hockey. Yeah. No, you know, absolutely. Like, trash cans on the ice, you can, like, use them. That's the thing, like, I, I, most sports, the reason that I have problems with them is they it is the like sh- just strict following of these rules that just kind of make things almost boring. Like the reason I'm not a big fan of hockey, it's it's like a case of blue balls. You know? it's like, <laughs> oh, they're getting they're close. They're getting close. They're getting close. Okay, nope, they didn't score. Okay, they're getting close. They're getting close. They're getting close. Nope, 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 they didn't score. And it's and like it goes on for oh, hours. Yeah. yeah. Baseball. I'm just like, dude. Baseball could be interesting with some wrestling thrown in there. It could be like. And you know what? And I mean, and I mean, just picture this one, okay? You you got to get like some good commentary in there, like good people on the mics, because you know it's always the voice behind the action that really gets the fans involved. Yeah. So imagine like you got like good old Jr. navigating some baseball, and he's like, 
Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that was a really great hit there by Barry Bonds. He's running for first. And oh, Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would be kind of awesome. Like, you have somebody, you know, they hit the ball. They're running for first base, right? And then out of nowhere, somebody just close line. <laughs> Boom. Takes him out. Ooh, even better, okay? You got the guy. He's winding up. He's winding up. Hits the fucking ball. Starts running for first. Guy at first has got the mitt ready. He's focused on catching that ball. Gar! 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 <laughs> yes. Safe! <laughs> that, see? That would make things way more interesting. Now, Way more interesting. Just imagine when you start getting, like I said, you'd have to start getting like some triple threats in there. Maybe a tag team game. The Buffalo Bills and like the New York Jets takes on like Kansas City and the Carolina Panthers. Yeah, I mean, I uh, yeah, just imagine things like that. How cool would it be? You kind of mix up a couple teams and they just kind of go at it. Or if like you build a new field where it's got like three end zones. Oh my god, yes. It'd be like Chinese checkers. You ever play Chinese checkers? I have. Where you can go like like almost anywhere dude, with it. Dude. Imagine <laughs> somebody getting pissed off at a referee and stunning them. Boom! Yeah, man. Celebrates with the beer bath in the end zone. It'd be awesome. I love the idea. I love I'm it. just saying that this isn't something like I don't want to make these like little off the or like these little let me tell you something's like extremely long. I just want to like navigate a couple of them and see where we can go with this. Um, like I said, man, the rules of professional wrestling, if they apply to other sports, other sports might be slightly more entertaining and therefore you could get more viewers and you yeah. could get more like entertainment value. Yeah. And it's like, it doesn't even have to necessarily be like a lot of the ones that we are kind of talking about are like, Oh, let's throw some weapons in there. You know, let's get hardcore <laughs> with things. And that, that'd be kind of awesome. But, like, it doesn't even always have to be that. Like, you know, we talked about the idea of triple threat football matches, which, like, after I say it, it's like, that sounds kind of awesome. I'd still want to see the heel turn in sports. Yeah. So Somebody rips off their jersey to reveal they're playing for the fucking other team mid-game. Yeah. Like, oh, man, you know, I'm I'm a Panthers boy. Whoop. Oh, and I'm playing for the Buffalo Bills. Or, like... You know, a game ends like we talk. You talked about, uh, you know, <laughs> like the the Panthers cashing in the middle of a game, right? Yes. But like, you have a game, right? They they play their three hours or whatever. You know, one team wins the game. Then they come out, and there's a whole nother game right oh then God, and there, yes. and they yes. gotta go. Like, and it's right like, as soon as this, oh, my God, yes. I hadn't even thought about that version of it. Yeah. And oh, it's my like, God, Cam Newton and the Panthers are taking the field. Ladies and gentlemen, this game is going into supreme overtime as the Buffalo Bills have to play right now. Yeah. I mean, like, that's the kind of stuff that I think would be awesome to see. <laughs> Dude, could you see Joey Styles on commentary on that? He's like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> No, like there are sports like golf, which I think are like the most boring. Like I'd love. What do you think they could do with golf? Like, because uh, I, I mean, mean it's <laughs> so boring. I've got one. Lo- I, I got one sentence that will forever change golf. Okay, Judy Bagwell on a pole. <laughs> I mean, that's more than one word, but. I said one sentence. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> See my face? I ain't smiling. If Judy Bagwell is not on a pole in the next gold jacket tournament, I will never watch golf again. I mean, I don't watch golf as it is, but sure, there. neither do I. But I was trying to make I was trying to make a statement here. <laughs> I mean, I think stuff like that would be how about this? You take you take golf and you mix it with like a ladder match. So oh like, my god, yeah. So like catch this, right? You have to scale the ladder to get your ball. And then you can take your shot. Ooh, ew, even better. Something like that. Even better. I don't know how you change the game up itself, but in order to get the gold jacket, you know how it usually comes down to like two people? Yeah. They have to have a fist fight in a ladder match to get the gold jacket. 
Interesting. So, like, the jacket's, like, literally hanging above. Oh, God, yeah. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hanging from a tree. I don't care. <laughs> but, I mean, I the, like this it. is what I'm talking about. The rules of wrestling are very, like, it, it, this is what makes sports entertainment and wrestling today so different. There are yeah. so many little rules and things that, like, have been, like, imagine a Royal Rumble of, like, football players. And it's, like, um, and, like, this could work for a team, like, you're the Buffalo Bills. You want to be the MVP? Be the last one standing in the end zone. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. You, you're the last one standing in the end zone. You're the MVP of the game. We'll even give I, you a. <laughs> I think. I think Rum, Royal Rumble rules would work best in something like uh, like hockey. So Ooh, like, yeah. Anytime someone gets sent to the box, they're out. Well, it's funny because the box you know would I mean? essentially be like uh, it's the uh, the king of the mountain match, I believe. That has like those jail cells, and like people get locked in them whenever. Um, shit, it's been a long time since I've seen a king of the mountain match, but I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but yeah, like I said, the rules of wrestling, if they applied to other sports, could Ooh, make other sports. Go. Oh, I got one. I got one. Okay, you got a basketball game going on, right? Okay, mix that. With the elimination chamber, hear me out. You, okay, how, how many people are on a basketball team? Was it five? Oh, no, I, don't even know. I, I you mean on the court at the time. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. Five. Okay, so each team starts off with three on the court each, two, two, two each in a pod, and they have to play. And then every so often, <laughs> somebody gets let out. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Like maybe it's like you score a certain amount of points. And it lets Ooh. one of your people out of the pod. Okay. Yeah. So it starts off as a three on three. And as you make points, like your, your people can be let loose. Yeah. Dude, that could be or entertaining. Hell, it could literally be one on one and have all the other people in the pods. Dude, that would be, that would be really cool. I would, that I would be down for. I'd be watching basketball all the time. If it was, if they did that, I'm just saying <laughs> Dude, NBA, be- listen up, try it. Well, I would say it would be cool to see like an extreme version of football, but that happened. Like arena football uh, and the NX, uh, XFL. Yeah. So I mean, like, but I know, mean, like, how extreme really was it? I'm just saying it was just arena football, really. True. Think about this way, right? The sideline, it was like a, it was like a trough of tax. <laughs> you go out of bounds, boom, right into the tax, <laughs> right Dude, through a table. An, There's tables. An, an inferno. Um, football match, like yeah, yeah. around the ring, yeah, around, around the yeah, dude, yes, yes, that would also be cool for basketball. It would, yeah, I'd be down, man. Oh man, there's so many good possibilities. <laughs> I'll kind of now, anybody out there, let he, I want to hear your suggestions as well. Uh, hit us up. I'm gonna put the uh, the Twitter at the bottom of the the page there i had to off the ropes jj oh yeah, yeah. All, all our social media is off the ropes jj you yeah. know we're on we're on twitter we're on facebook we're on patreon uh anchor, i mean pretty much anchor yeah. anchor go go find us anywhere and let us know your thoughts on this whole you know topic here yeah. let us know what kind of rules you would do what kind of sports you would do it to let us know your scenarios oh yeah absolutely because there's a lot of good ones I th- I'm sure we're missing some some fantastic ones. Oh, I'm I mean, sure we're missing some. Bangers. We're not even like we're, be- we're we haven't even mentioned like certain sports that we could probably like. I'm sure we could do something with bowling. <laughs> I don't know what, but I'm sure we could. Dude, imagine uh, tennis. Imagine a guy. He's there. He's ready. And right as he goes and pulls back. Bam! Steel chair! <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, that could work for golf, though, too. Guys, could. guys like... Mm-hmm. Bam! <laughs> this is a no-disqualification golf match. Anything oh, goes in Anything this golf goes. match. Yeah, man. I, uh, Dude, I would watch so many more sports. This I is would have, sport. I'm just saying, yeah. yeah. I'd have no time because I'd be watching all the sports. Yeah. I'd be down. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Crazy shit, man. Yeah. You got anything else? Nope. That was my topic for the week. All right, folks. Well, I hope that uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed it. 
Um, John, let's wrap it up. Oh, well, why don't you tell the people where they can find you? You can find me on Twitter at JP Rayner. That's J P R A Y N O R, as well as right down here at Movie Blog Merc. That's the uh, site for uh, the Twitter page for my site, Merc, with the Movie Blog. Be sure to check me out there. I'm pretty active on that one. So, what about you, man? He is. Well, you can always find me over on Twitter here. Oh, the other side today. It's simply saying J1. That's the Twitter and um, pod. Uh, wow. The Twitter. Wow. I really am tripping over that one today, and I apologize. <laughs> I'm tripping like a golfer with an untied shoe. I'm going to sure. do this again, ladies and gentlemen. You can find me here at Simply Saying J1. That is the Twitter that corresponds with my podcast and my blog at that time. And, I mean, you can always find me on Facebook and any other place that, you know, I am available. Yes, you can. All and, right. you know. This has been another episode of Off the Ropes. And let me tell you something, brother. Thank you for letting me pick your mind. And Josh, give him a, give him a send-off. We are down for the count. Catch you next time.